We always hear the saying, health is wealth. The Alabama Cooperative Extension System has launched a challenge to encourage Alabamians to get moving with friends and family. Joining us now live over Zoom is Teresa Mintz from the Extension System. Teresa, tell us about this challenge. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, so Move Alabama is a partnership between my program, the Expanded Food and Nutrition Education Program and our SNAP Ed team. Uh, we're both federally funded nutrition education programs and we focus on nutrition and also being more active to help people live healthier lives. And so last year we started Move Alabama as a pilot program to challenge people to get up and move more. Um, it was really successful. So this year we decided to bring it big and it's statewide and it's a challenge for folks to get out and get active with their neighbors and their families. Um, and it's just different ways to be active and incorporate it into your everyday life. Teresa, you said it was really successful last year. What did that challenge last year look like? So last year we started with six pilot counties. Uh, those were places that we had educators who were really interested in this topic um, and we wanted to test out if this could work. And so we had a variety of challenges walking from the back of the parking lot or walking with your neighbors or on your work breaks, things like that. Um, and we had some challenges that were more county specific and so what we wanted to do was make it more general and fully accessible to all of our different communities this year. So this year it's more of a statewide opportunity. Yeah, the key is to just get moving. According to the CDC, 30% of people in Alabama are not physically active. How can this challenge help that even just a little bit? Right, so our, our physical inactivity rate is really high in Alabama. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. There's a lot of different obstacles. And so the, what this challenge does is give people realistic ways that they can be active in their day. We have challenges that are as simple as you know, park further away from where you work and, and walk through the parking lot or set up family fitness stations at home or find a friend and go explore a new trail in your community. Uh, so it's just giving people ways that it, physical activity can be fun and it can be a part of their everyday life so they get mo moving more. And Teresa, the beauty of this challenge, it's not just about moving, but you can make connections. You can go walking with a coworker on your lunch break. Talk a little bit about what you've heard from people the first year after the challenge. I, I love what people have done with this challenge. They've taken it and made it their own and made it a really great way to connect with their communities. Uh, so what we heard was people found places they had never seen before. They met people they had never known. Um, things, people who had lived places their entire lives suddenly were exploring their downtowns in greater detail. And then they used our Facebook group, which is a huge part of this program, to connect with other people in their communities and to really find ways to celebrate and to be more active. You can spend more time with your family, too, and that's always so important. Where can people go to learn more about this challenge, Teresa? So our Facebook page is called Move Alabama. It's a public group, and there they can download the challenge flyer, which you see uh, there. And they can also go to their local extension office or to our extension website, aces, A-C-E-S dot E-D-U, and find out more. All right, Teresa, thanks for all that information, and thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.